welcome back I'm MTG Joe today we're gonna be playing some uh, some ranked magic uh, we're closing in on the end of the month so we want to see how high we can get in the the constructed ranks um, so we've played a bit of four color dread horde and a bit of uh, Jeskai walkers I've liked dread horde I have not liked walkers but today we're gonna be playing some immortal gruel so this is a list hoping to prey upon, pun intended, uh, some of your opponent's uh, Planeswalker heavy builds. Um, so the deck itself is kind of your traditional Gruul mid-range deck. We played this a bit on stream before, but I think it's really well positioned right now with all these Planeswalker threats. And the main reason being, you play a lot of haste creatures. So you have your ramp early with Lana War Elves, you have your burn and removal with shock and lightning strike. You also have Paradise Druid as ramp. Um, but in terms of haste, your upper end is pretty much there. You have Legion War Boss that makes hasty 1-1s one and can win a game on its own. Spellbreaker can also target your opponent and put a lot of pressure on them uh, as a hasty uh, creature. You have Rekindling Phoenix, which gets pseudo haste when it dies. It's also very hard to deal with. Uh, you have Skargan Hellkite, which could come down and hit pretty much anything. And then in this list as well, um, we're playing Domri, so Domri can ramp us, be used as removal with the fight ability, and is an anthem for our team. Uh, God Eternal Ronas can double our power and make us win out of nowhere. I may cut this in place of another Skargan Hellkite after a couple games, we'll see. And then this version, where the Immortal Gruel comes in, is playing the Immortal Sun. So this turns off Planeswalker's abilities, draws us extra cards, pumps our teams, makes it cheaper, everything all together. And we're only playing Domri in the main board, so it doesn't really hurt us as much, especially because Domri's passive ability, the creatures you control get plus 1-0, is still effective. Uh, the mana base is pretty standard, you got your, your duels all up in there. Uh, in terms of sideboard, uh, I'm going to show you this way. Uh, we got Dire, Deal Flare, uh, Dire Fleet Daredevil. Uh, which is really good against like your Esper decks or stuff with removal, use their removal on them. We got Lava Coils when we need to get rid of 4 Toughness, Brontodons uh, for artifacts and enchantments, uh, Vivian versus Control. Uh, this is a way to uh, flash in our creatures, so we're basically bringing in a Planeswalker package out of the sideboard. We got Vivians, we got Chandras, we got Sarkins, and so pretty much the whole package here. Uh, this can give our stuff reach. Um, I think we're okay not playing Crawl Harpooner right now. Uh, I think we try it like this. I may want to go, because we're not seeing as much enchantment based. Uh, da, da, da. wonder if there's any good artifacts. Exile just to see uh, exile shuffle up to five target cards from permanent uh, exile all cards from all graveyards play a one of sentinel it's kind of fringe maybe an Ugin instead catch all card advantage yeah, let's try an Ugin in the side all right so we'll play on ranked I am currently you have two four. ranks one for construction fell quite a bit and one the Jeskai for Jeskai list yesterday. We'll fire it up. So for those of you new to the channel, I'm MTG Joe. We put replay videos up on YouTube three, four, five, six times a week. Uh, you can catch everything we play live or uh, replay on the channel. Uh, if you're enjoying the content, subscribing is a free and easy way to show your support. It costs you nothing, it helps a long way. And if you are feeling a bit more generous, there'll be a Patreon link in the comments below. A couple dollars a month goes a long way to helping me uh, keep the channel up and running. Uh, da -da -da -da, and we'll get started. So, keep this. We got Growth Chamber on too, and if we need, we can also shock. We don't have any of our high end, but we can deal with some early threats. Growth Chamber can also just adapt and find more creatures. Okay, so. Could be Esper, could be Grixis, could be. Start 
adapting or uh, exploring, it gets a lot worse. So that takes them off there, which is nice. Here, I'm just gonna deploy a chamber guardians. It's unfortunate we drew another one. So we're not where we want to be. See, they usually don't play cast down unless this is more of a Sultai list. Which they haven't shown the white yet, or jade light. So it's notable because the shock will kill it. Which works out well for us. Back here. This deck really punishes the opponent if they stumble. Answered their board. We have a Phoenix as a follow up play, and we can play out the other growth chamber. There's still one mana, one more turn off of a finality. If this is Salta, this might just be the Salta draft last. Let me aid your research. We'll see if they name uh, Command the Dreadhorde. So straight salt eye. They name Liliana there. I think we just go for max damage here. Lethal, anyways. The animal also doesn't do anything. Sack the elf and the phoenix. Get back the phoenix with haste. Even with finality this turn, it also doesn't do it. But these lists will usually play command the dread horde instead of finality now, which is a little bit better for us. So here they're gonna likely bring in like Cryo Carnarium, stuff like that, so we can go. Lava Coils are good. Chandra, Sarkins, Vivians, Ugin. Uh, God Eternal is not that good. We'll get rid of the Immortal Suns. Uh, do we want Paradise Druid? Actually, the War Boss aren't really good here. They have a lot of blockers. Four cards. So, Paradise Druid draws us, yeah, I guess we want to go to 2 to 4 as opposed to 1 to 3. So I'm going to cut the elves on the draw. I think we're okay there. Uh, do we want to do this? We become more resilient. They'll play more grind, so they're going to play duress. Actually, they won't bring in duress this game because we've shown all creatures. They're going to bring in board wipes. So let's try this out like this. We can show planeswalkers and then switch to the original list. Uh, we'll keep this hand. Early removal in a growth chamber. Spellbreaker is also good. and then we can get a spell breaker down. Hopefully they miss here. Okay, so they take a wild growth. Triple spell breaker is also good. They missed lands, which is promising. Would have preferred the double green. Lands. We 
need the other red source, obviously. Chandra on an empty board would be pretty gas, even Phoenix. Okay, so I have to land here. Interesting. Like I said, this deck, it's quick, it's punishing, and it's smash. I, I really feel like Gruul is super flexible right now. There's so many variations you can build. If you guys have your own list, some play like bigger with Galta. Uh, this hand doesn't do enough. Okay, we'll keep. Turn three, Hellkite. Turn two, Legion War boss. This is the do you have removal or you die? My favorite type of archetypes. Okay, well, seen a forest in Smash our opponent. This could be Bant. Attack with these, adapt or mentor. So I'm doing this so we can hold up the lightning strike as well. This could be a bant mid-range deck if they have something like So like I said, that game was over on turn two when they didn't use the removal spell. Um we don't know what they're on. So, I think we just run it back, to be honest. I'm gonna cut one druid for a Vivian. And, you know, two druids bring in a dire fleet. In case they play counters, we can hedge with that. And then the dire fleet can be useful. If they have like card draw spells or something. I wanted to do the right thing and concede it early enough when they knew the game was over because now we're going in with no information. Pretty much exactly what our deck's doing. Uh, the dream, but nope, we don't again. Uh, yeah. We're gonna bin. If we could play this on one, obviously we keep it. Keep that now, just in case they play a creature. So this is a creature based version. Really want to draw that next line. so much we're gonna kill the Vivian regardless there is one in a blade of grass let's get more boss going we had the option to kill it I but I think survivor. just having war boss overwhelm them 
They can flash in a creature before blocks. We can lightning strike it. Card. Okay, so we're Tear aggressive it down. on their part. Tear it all down. And they they balked there. So this gives us the most value. So we're obviously weak if they have a sweeper. But this is pretty much the critical mass turn. Gotta keep attacking in. I think that probably makes the most sense. This gets us going. So they gain five, block some amount. The fact we're missing lands, like Hellkite, can eventually start doing stuff. But really, we're kind of all in on this aggro plan. We need like another shock or something. So they gain five, take. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen. Okay, so they're deciding what's the correct block. But block that spellbreaker instead. So this is just like critical mass of damage. Even at this point, if they settle, I'm not too worried because. It just powers up a huge Hellkite that can just shoot them for the rest of the damage. Okay, so the Hydra Crisis, gains them some life back. to attack with everything, that is what we will do. Depending on their blocks, we might adapt Growth Chamber Guardian, if not, we'll Lightning Strike. So they block there. Ooh, this is a way we could pump through damage. Let's see how the math settles. This is the fun thing about this deck. You let them do the math. You just hit attack all and go from there. Okay, so they block there. Block there. So they're gaining five here and they're taking eight, nine. So that's four. Um, so they block here. They gain 5, they go to 13, then they take 8, they go down to 5, they go down to 4, this goes down to 1, Hellkite's lethal. We can also Lightning Strike there, so they'll take 2, which is probably the right play.
because that gets the hydrate crisis off, so they have one fewer blocker. Life. Hellkite also is getting to the point where it's lethal. Okay, they're stabilizing. Land, I just want lands. Okay, so here, 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 here. They're gaining five regardless. And then they're blocking three of these. So, four. So, realistically, we're getting in four points of damage. Whereas, Growth Chamber still dies. Okay, so here. Attacks. We're just losing our boar. Mind you, it's probably right to attack. The adapter and get the chain for now. The immortal sun though does make our hellkite six power. Otherwise we can shoot the opponent. This forces them to use their mana now. So we want land. Yep. So this means they have to block with Lyra or they die. And getting Lyra off the battlefield works for us. So they gain some life, but they're pretty far behind now. This can just start smash again. We draw two cards a turn. Also use this like to trade with some stuff. They can adapt this at instant speed. We can shoot it down. This also makes this a five-five with adapt. Played out the land because now I can't adapt and shoot. That's what I wanted to do. So here. them there. Just pass the turn. We're gonna adapt the creation druid, so like Hydra Crisis gives them a lot of life. Thank you. 
Alrighty. So we got three and with the list. We rank up here, which is solid. Yeah. We'll crack our pack and we'll call it a day on that one. We'll probably jam some more. This is later. This deck Would you like to see what's left of Scott? Another Vivian. Not too shabby. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you're feeling a little bit more generous, Patreon is now up. Anything you can would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.